Are you like me? You like your choices. You like a good quality build and you really like a great price. I think I found it for you. Hi everybody, I'm Celia Klein. I'm with High Garden Real Estate and I'm excited to introduce you to the community Arcadia. This is a master planned community and actually has three builders currently building. There are going to be just shy of a thousand home sites here. And today we're gonna to focus on the builder Mungo Homes. Mungo Homes is a regional builder. They are actually based just outside of Columbia, South Carolina in Irmo, South Carolina. And did you know they're a subsidiary of Berkshire Hathaway? So in this community, they are offering some fantastic choices, 15 floor plans of which to choose from. So we're gonna take a look at a few of them, give you the ins and outs, and then you're gonna give me a call so I can make sure to show you what this area is all about. Before we get started, we've gotta tell you, where are we? So the Arcadia community is located in Myrtle Beach, just off of Forest Brook Road. Now Forest Brook Road is one of those long roads that you start in one area and before you know it, you're kind of in a different town. So this one is really close to the intersection with Highway 544. So what does that mean? It means you're very close to the Intracoastal Waterway. It also means that you are close to the shops and restaurants of Saybrook. Heck, you could even get to Surfside Beach in less than 15 minutes. Again, it's a great location and we've got so much to show you. I know I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's go. Mungo Homes has so many floor plans here at Arcadia. We're not gonna get to all of them, but I did wanna show you one of their larger ones. This is the Warwick floor plan. It is just shy of 3,300 heated square feet, and it is stunning. Let me tell you, Mungo knows how to show off when they put their models together. And so this one has four bedrooms and two and a half baths. You can do a lot of changes with that. You can make an area that's down here into a full bedroom with a full bath. There's many, many options. You're also gonna see a lot of these uh, intricate features that really step it up a notch in here. For example, the upgraded trim package. Your normal is a three and a quarter inch baseboard, but as you can see here, these are clearly bigger. All of these arched openings, I just love it. Hey, all those bedrooms in this particular floor plan, they're upstairs so that we can have plenty of living space to enjoy down here. Do you see those two islands in the kitchen? Talk about Thanksgiving or a Super Bowl party. I think I'll be here for a while. There are so many things I just love about this Warwick floor plan. Let's talk about this closet in the primary bedroom. Oh, if you are a clothes hog like I am, you're gonna love this. Hey, a couple of other things as well. I love the windows we have in this home. There's just such a good use of space here. I think I might've fallen in love. Of the three builders here in the Arcadia community, it's only Mungo Homes that will allow the two be built so you can pick all of your different features and upgrades. So it's important to note when you come in these gorgeous models, they are trying to do as many visuals as they can for their options, but they're also most likely including some things that they don't offer to the consumer. So for example, here in the primary bedroom, some of this trim work you see in the ceiling probably isn't an option, but maybe a coffered ceiling or a tray ceiling might be, and it'll be just as beautiful. If you've fallen in love with a floor plan and you're seeing a lot of bells and whistles, let's make sure when we're visiting the community, you and I look at one of the houses that may be under construction or maybe it is already under contract, but it might be closer to more of the standard features and that'll give you an even better sense of what the home's gonna look like when it's all done. Ooh, 
do we have some pretty things to show you in this community. So Mungo Homes actually offers, are you ready? 15 floor plans in this one community. And they have a huge range, anywhere from about 1,600 square feet to over 4,000 heated square feet. That's right. So thankfully they have two furnished models and they are beautiful. As you can see behind me, there's just so many features. Now, this particular floor plan is called the Fullerton. It has three full baths, three bedrooms. This is the type of floor plan that most of my clients just really like because it's so functional. Everything they need is pretty much on the first floor. But then when your visitors come, they have this gorgeous upstairs that's very spacious that they can enjoy, but not too much, right? <laughs> so just take a look around here at some of the things we see. These arched openings, these entryways, I just think that is so elegant. One of the things I also like here, you've got to notice it right away. As you step in from the foyer into the kitchen and main living area, look at these ceilings, 10 foot ceilings, so stately, so grand. Let's go take a look at some more, shall we? Mungo really likes offering options. So you can have it as a spec or inventory home where if you need to do something quickly, they've made all the choices and maybe that's a little less stressful for you. But if you're like, no, I know exactly what I want in my home, then you can do to be built. And this is just showing you some of the options. For example, here in the Fullerton, do you see this amazing laundry room? Now that space was here, but you may not have had the cabinetry, that beautiful countertop. So that's gonna make that price go up. So while you may have started with a base price that's going to be say in the 300s, it's very easy to move from that into the 400s once you've added any structural changes or you add any design changes. And don't forget, there's almost always a lot premium to add to the final price. Let's dive into these options in a little bit greater detail. A builder like Mungo Homes is going to actually be making their most profit off of those upgrades. So you're gonna wanna look closely at their included features sheet because you're gonna find things like you may get LVP in the entryway foyer, but you're not gonna get it in some places where you're absolutely going to want it, like the main living area. Also, it's almost guaranteed they're gonna start off with carpet in the bedrooms and it's also going to be what they use as the flooring type for going up any stairs to a second floor. Most of you, most of my clients, you don't want that carpet. You don't like it at all. So that's going to be one of the ways where they're going to be making some money. Now, again, you could consider a spec or inventory home where some of those things that you want to make your house perfect aren't necessarily in there but they're selling it at a low enough price that to make those changes is still affordable. Something to consider. What I'm noticing is that these ensuite baths are stunning. So many different features, the double vanities, the different types of cabinetry and countertop, the framed mirrors, and we've definitely got a problem. I mean, the shower head here, it's way too small. Since Mungo Homes had a few inventory homes that were ready for move-in, we thought we'd give you a sneak peek. So we are filming this in September of 2024. And so I wanted to give you an idea of pricing. This is the Westbury floor plan. It's a part of their premier collection. It can average for the heated square footage anywhere around 26 to 2,800 heated square feet. And they've got two really nice size bedrooms on the main level, and then another two with a spacious loft on the second floor. It's a pretty big size house. 
Now, the base price for a Westbury is gonna land somewhere in the low fours, like around 415, 419. Again, that's today. Now, with all of the different upgrades and the lot premium, et cetera, that's been added to this home, I wanted you to know this home is currently on the market for $499.9. So you see that big difference? That's right, it's around $80,000 worth of upgrades. I know you all love your LVP, no carpet, but one of the things we gotta keep in mind is when you have stairs, you also like them to be stained. You like to have those oak treads, no carpet again. Now, builders will always try to do their best to select a stain that is going to blend or be as close as possible to the flooring, but no, it's two different materials that are being used, so it's not always gonna be perfect. Here in this Westbury spec home, this might be one of the more pricier upgrades, but you know what? Here's what I think about it. When you are pondering upgrades like this outdoor fireplace, say to yourself, are we gonna use this a lot? Say for example, that gourmet kitchen option, is that gonna make your whole day-to-day -day of um, preparing meals and hosting parties, is that just gonna be more enjoyable when you have those upgrades? If you know it's going to be used consistently, it's absolutely worthwhile. And quite honestly, in our market, for this home of this square footage and these upgrades to still be under $500,000, it's actually a really good deal. Alert, alert. For those of you who own pickup trucks or SUVs, which these days is, well, pretty much everybody, you wanna keep an eye on when a floor plan has two separate garage doors. You wanna get the measurements because sometimes they can be a bit too narrow and even folding in those mirrors may not be enough to get that vehicle in the garage. So definitely double check that before you make your decision. Mungo Homes has two separate collections in this community. And we are currently, again, in one of their spec or inventory homes. This one's called the Fairchild. All on one level, it's about 2,000 heated square feet. And we have just a lovely layout here. For those of you who are hanging on to that beloved dining room table that the family's had for a few generations, well, this floor plan does offer a separate dining room space. And as you can see behind me, a gorgeous coffered ceiling. Now, I love this kitchen. It is so large and opening up into this great room area. And again, I can't forget to mention these high ceilings, 10 foot ceilings. It's just so beautiful. Now, you're on about a 0.2 on average acre lot size. So again, it's fairly small, but again, who wants to really be mowing a lawn? I know I don't, right? Now, don't forget, as we talked about before, it's a natural gas community, so you've got a tankless hot water heater here as well. And we really just have some lovely features, including that outdoor fireplace. Let's talk about price for the Fairchild spec home. Now, the base price when you're starting from scratch is going to be anywhere from the high 370s to a low 380. Once you add lot premium, structural options, and design, this one is actually being listed at 449.9. Again, a great value. One of the things I particularly like about what Mungo Homes is doing in Arcadia is that each of these many floor plans has at minimum two different elevations. You remember that means we're talking about the front facade. Some of them have as many as five different choices, including that one with the upper balcony that I know you all love. That really helps with the overall curb appeal of this section of Arcadia. When you drive down the street here, there's just such variety, and I really, really like that because I think it brings value to the community.
Here's the good news. About a month ago, the amenity center just opened up in Arcadia and everybody's loving it. You've got this gorgeous pool area, a little bit of a clubhouse here up front. You of course have the now obligatory pickleball courts. You've got a playground and a fire pit. All of that's included in your HOA, which is $81 a month. And that also includes your trash pickup as well. Now here's a crazy topic we really didn't think we'd have to cover in new construction, and that's gutters. Most of you are moving from areas where gutters, well, that's included, right? Well, not so much. Mongo Homes will add gutters in particular areas, but not necessarily the entire home. And there are some builders in our market that won't offer them at all. Here's a reason why. So in our area, when it rains, it's tropical, it's a lot, and it rains hard and it happens fast. And so when you've got a three inch gutter, well, that's not necessarily gonna be very helpful, is it? The good news is, is you've got different kinds of gutters, anywhere from three to seven inches. You can certainly consider changing that once you own the home. So do keep that in mind. One other thing I noticed that Mungo does that's a little bit different is that they add that rain sensor. Do you see it attached to that HVAC over there? So again, you've got sod and irrigation for your lots here. And so you may have it scheduled for the sprinklers to go off at a certain time every day. But the nice thing is what should work is that this rain sensor will go up. Oh, don't need it because it's already raining. So you don't want those sprinklers to go off to have a waste of water. Kind of a nice addition. There's definitely a lot to think about on this one, isn't there? Mungo Homes has done a fantastic job of not only offering great floor plans, but great options and great pricing. If you need any more information about this new construction community or any others in our area, you know who I am, Celia Klein with High Garden Real Estate. My number is 843-321-9646. And hey, make sure that you are subscribing to my YouTube channel so you can see all my videos about new construction in the area and tell your friends to look at it as well. Most people find it very helpful when they're looking at moving to our area. Thanks so much for watching and I hope if you're in the market for a new home in our area, you'll give me a call.